hear that? That sounds like a cup of joe to me. Hey players, how are we doing? Welcome back to a cup of joe. Now, for those of you watching this that have already heard this story, I apologize. I did a cup of joe while I was live on stream and the recording didn't save. Damn. So what am I going to do? I'm going to redo that for you. I'm going to redo that for you right here, right now. Let me paint this picture for you, okay? Let me take you back to my first job. Yes. Now I know you're thinking to yourself, Joe, what was your first job? Oh, I'm glad you asked. Believe it or not, it was a barista where I had my first cup of joe. That's neither here nor there. So my first job was at a coffee shop. I was about 17. About 17. Yeah, I know. I don't want to hear it in the comments. I don't care. I didn't have a job till I was 17. Yeah, that was me. It's not the point. So, uh, you know, this coffee shop was located in a downtown area, and, um, how do I put this? Um, every other business was a bar, or a brewery, or a winery. I mean, the store next to me sold bike parts, but the store after them, liquor. Store after them, liquor. Everywhere you go. It's downtown. On top of it being a downtown area, my coffee shop was open till 3 a.m. So I know what you're thinking. And yes, I saw a lot of crazy shit after 2 a.m. when people get out the bars. Because guess who's sober? Me. Guess who remembers? You're right, me. So let's just paint this evening for you guys coffee shop downtown after 2 a.m. And we had a group of regulars that would leave the bar around like 1-ish, 1.30 at the latest, and they'd come chill. And we would all drink coffee on the patio, and we would do something called watch the parade. Now, I know you're like a parade at 2 a.m. Yeah, every weekend too, believe it or not. Every weekend, 2 a.m., the bars get out. Oh, you got motherfuckers stumbling. Oh, you got motherfuckers falling all over the place, throwing up on the side of the road. You got half a group uh, hooking up with other, all these other people, and then half the group left them behind, and it, it's just chaos. It's pure chaos, and it's the funnest time to people watch. I love people watching. I'm a people person. So, it's about 2 a.m. The parade is going on. And we would always get a rush around 2 a.m. because you got those people who drank all night and they think one cop, of, uh, cop, one cup of coffee is gonna solve their problems and they're gonna become sober. Like they didn't just take nine shots of tequila on Taco Tuesday. I sell them the coffee and I make my money. The cool thing about that situation, they come in pretty drunk and they're like, hey man, nobody's tipping you. They start throwing you money and I'm like, it's crazy. It's crazy. And I'm just taking it. But whatever. So, you know, it's always, it's it's a give and take. It's cool because they're so hammered and they give you extra money. But on the taking side, um, sometimes they're in the restroom for about 20 minutes. And I guess you can guess what they're doing. Yeah. You can just go ahead and guess what goes on there. So, we're watching the parade. Parade's about to wrap up. Still got some K, uh, still got some life to it though. Not completely dead. And so I start pre closing because, like I said, we close at 3 a.m. So it's about 2 20 ish. And you know, by 2 30, 2 40, it's uh, it's kind of chill again because everybody's gone home. Ubers have picked everybody up and whatnot. And um, so, like I said, I'm pre closing and you know, normal. Normal day, I tell my homie, hey, I'll be right back. I'm going to go um, take the trash out. I got to take the trash out. I don't want to do that. 
like later than how late it already is you feel me like because you had to walk all the way down to the dumpster down this alleyway i wasn't really about that life So, tell everybody, hey, be right back, going to the bathroom. And I'm walking, uh, pfft, to the bathroom. I'm going to throw the trash out. And I'm walking, and I get out of the patio, and there's a car full of ladies. Hey! And my ass wearing an apron holding a trash bag, I'm like, that's not for me. Hey! I'm like, hey, yo. And they're like, you, come here. And I'm like, oh, no, nah, bro. It's like a car full of girls. Uh, it's 2.30. Like, come on, bro. What? So I walk like a little bit. I'm like, what's up? I don't like get like close. I'm still like yelling distance. And she's like, she's like, <laughs> she goes, are you wearing space pants? And I just, I just paused. I just paused for so long. I'm like. And, and, and literally as I'm like, space pants, she's like, cause your ass is out of this world. And they're like, <laughs> and they all just peel off. And I'm just sitting there with a bag of trash and an apron, 2.30. Like, God damn, I want to go home, bro. I want to go home, bro. Like, what the hell? So I make my way to the dumpster and I'm still walking to this dumpster. And this is one of those dumpsters that was shared amongst um, all of the businesses that were nearby, if you will. Um, pretty big area. There was like a few dumpsters, maybe four. And it was one of those dumpsters that had just like two doors. You know what I'm talking about? Just completely always closed. There's no lock, but it's just like they're closed, right? Okay. So I'm walking up with this trash bag. And I never touched those doors once. What I would do? Sparta? Sparta front kick so hard that the doors go doom, doom, and bounce back. Like it's like an automatic door. That's what I would do because I'm holding the trash can and I'm not touching shit. Okay. You smell it before you even get there. Remember that, okay? You're walking to the dumpster. You could be blind. You could be like, oh God, I'm close. It smelled like death like death no exaggeration so i do my I, I do my routine kick that door open and guess what i fucking see in there i'll give you a minute i kick the door open and there's a homeless man in the corner and I do one of these. And this is all I see, y'all. This is all I see. This is all I see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Aggressively. Man wanted that shit detached from his body type shit. And so what do I do? You know me. What do I do? Motherfucker tugging, right? And I'm like, whoa, dude. And he goes, he goes, ah! why did you turn around still? God damn, and screaming. I mean, screaming. Where where was he in, in like the process? Motherfucker was like, yeah. <laughs> oh, bro, I threw the fucking trash on the floor. The doors were wide open. Bro was still looking at me. I'm like, what the fuck? And then, and then, yeah, bro. Then I'm supposed to just go back to the shop and clean up and clean up. And then it's still 2.30. I still got 30 minutes to just sit there and just think about what had happened. The fucked up part is, is he still tried to come in after saying, I need to wash my hands. You need to wash a lot more than your hands, bro. A lot more. Golly. Good old days. 
first job. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. Just thought that that story was something that you guys needed to hear yourself from the player himself to the players in the players club who make plays with the player playing plays with the players in the players club playing plays yeah with the player ladies and gentlemen this has been a cup of joe pinkies out players and we'll see you next time <laughs>